This exhibit was produced by the Grammy Museum in LA, and so we're really excited that it came here to the North Carolina Museum of History. This exhibit really showcases artifacts, bio stories, interviews, songwriting, lyrics, props, just so much stuff that really kind of tells a story and highlights these women throughout country music history. The early women, like Sarah and Maybelle Carter, and they're just super, they're extremely influential in the country music genre, and they inspired so many women and men after them. Rose Maddox, who a lot of people probably have never heard of, and she really kind of helped push in the honky-tonk genre. So many dresses and so many instruments, and that's another thing, it's like you're not only gonna see really beautiful gowns and dresses and outfits in this exhibit, there's also a lot of instruments. So we also have an interactive here um, that allows visitors to view and hear a variety of pretty traditional country music instruments, like the fiddle and the mandolin and the auto harp. Visitors can come and touch these instruments and hear what they sound like. So it's a really fun and popular interactive. Fans of Taylor Swift will definitely be happy to see a variety of different costumes and outfits and dresses that she's worn. We have this replica cabinet she performed on and in in the 2020 Grammy Awards. And it's a, it's a really beautiful moment. We have the dress that she wore for that performance as well. So I know those Swifty fans out there will be really excited to see those. We were able to add our own little special section that really focuses on North Carolina's connection to country music and history. We also have a copy um, from Myrtle Cooper Wiseman, also known as Lulu Bell. It's called Have I Told You Lately That I Love You? And it was actually, you know, the credit, writing credit is for her, to her husband, Scott Wiseman. But the legend has it is that when Scott was in the hospital, Myrtle went to him and whispered in his ear, Have I Told You Lately That I Love You? And so that inspired him to write the song. We have some boots that Amy Lou Harris wore on her Blue Kentucky Girl album released in uh, 1979. That was like a really, really interesting album because at that time her record album wanted to, her to go more pop and she wanted to stick even more bluegrass and more old country style. We also have in this section uh, the microphone that Reese Palmer used for her original podcast, Color Me Country. And so this is such a, an important podcast that she continues recording because it really does focus on those kind of untold stories throughout country music uh, history. And she based that podcast title on the album uh, by Linda Martell, who was actually the first African-American woman to perform at the Grand Ole Opry. Part of the Power of Women in Country Music exhibit is the Southern Songbirds concert series. It highlights contemporary artists that are local to North Carolina. All of these women represent different voices within the genre and are breaking through barriers that were created long ago. Each and every one of them is very involved in their community. And this exhibit really is about women being strong together. Um, and I think that the concert series really amplifies that message. Even if you're not a fan of country music, there's really something for everyone in this exhibit because country music, a lot of these artists cross over into bluegrass, into gospel, into pop, into rock, and so there's really something for everyone. We definitely invite you to come and view this really, really remarkable, fun, uh, empowering exhibit. And if you want to learn more, please visit our website at ncmuseumofhistory.org.